Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com and HockeyReviewHQ.com. In this video, I'm giving you an introduction and showing you how to set up the forward power shot. This is a pretty cool new device, it actually slides into the top of any hockey stick, stays there, and while you're playing and practicing, it collects information about your shot. And it takes all that information and sends it to your phone. So pretty cool device, awesome concept, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. In the next video, I'm gonna test it and see how well it works. All right, let's take a close up look at the product first and then I'll show you how to set it up and get it working for you. The first thing you'll see is the manual. This is filled with all kinds of information on how to set this up, but if you don't like to read, you can just watch this video. This is what you get inside, pretty straightforward. So you have the stick sensor that goes in your stick and then you also have a USB charger to charge it. Now this is a specialty charger. You can see it has this little tip right there. So you do not want to lose this. Make sure you keep that handy. Taking a look at the sensor, it's pretty thin. So this will fit into any size hockey stick, junior, intermediate, or senior. Uh, the total length is seven inches and the weight is 53 grams. So it will add a little bit of weight to your stick. I'd probably put it in my backup stick uh, and, or the stick that I use for training and shooting a lot. Installing the power shot is really easy. I have a senior stick, so I tape the bottom just to hold it nice and snug. So all you do is you pull the plastic stopper out of the top and you slide this inside. I've got the power shot installed, but we still need to set it up. Uh, one thing to note is that it will come out. So if I just pull on it like that, so it doesn't clip right in there. What you have to do is tape it up first to give it a fresh tape job. And one thing to note is not to go over this little hole right here. So you go over right there, but there's a little hole where you actually charge it up. So don't tape over that. So nothing too fancy, I just threw a quick tape job around and I left a little bit of extra sticking up so I could fold it over and that'll just help it keep it in its place. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up so it's paired to your phone. The first thing you wanna do is charge your power shot, which I thought was pretty cool. It's like you're plugging in your hockey stick. So I just have uh, one of these typical USB chargers you get with your phones and iPods and stuff like that. So you're plugging it into the wall and then you have the USB cord that came with it. It's got this tiny little charging prong here, which fits into the top of the power shot. Now you're gonna to wanna to plug this all the way in. It's a snug fit. So you have to make sure the plastic from this is touching the power shot. You don't wanna leave it half out. Now this part is gonna scare you because it tells you in the manual that there's a yellow light that comes on when you plug it in that tells you it's charging. Well, it doesn't come on for about 20 minutes after you plug it in. Here's what it's gonna look like after about 20 minutes, this yellow indicator light will come on and then after this, every time you plug it in, the yellow light will come on. That lets you know it's charging. Once it turns green, that means it's good to go. So uh, let's just wait for this to charge and then I'll show you how to set it up on your phone. While we're waiting for the stick to charge, I'm just gonna show you how to install the app really quickly. So you're just gonna search in the Play Store or the App Store for FWD Sports Card. So you can see it right there. So click on that. The few that come up, this is the one you want, FWD Sports Card. So click on that, you guys know what to do, hit install. Uh, it's free, so that's always nice. And I'll just show you what the app looks like now. Here's the app. Uh, so when it first opens, it's gonna ask you to create an account. It's pretty simple. You just put in your name, email address, that's about it. Uh, and then up here in the top left, you're gonna wanna hit that. So you can pair it with the sensor you have in your stick. And then there's sensor right there. You click on power shot. That's gonna open up this section and then it says pair sensor. So we're gonna wait until it's fully charged and then we're gonna do that. The green light finally came on. So it took a little longer than expected, uh, about seven hours, which I thought was kind of long. That might be just for the first charging and the battery is supposed to last about four to 12 hours for each charge. Uh, so now all you have to do to activate this and pair it with your phone is tap it on the ground. That activates the sensor and you should see a little uh, yellow light flashing right there. When it's flashing, you just turn on your phone. I'll load the app up right there. So it says here to pair sensor. So you just click this button and then it's sending the information. It shows the sensor right there. So I'll click on that and boom, it is paired. And uh, something that's cool is it shows the battery life right up there. So I thought that was a pretty neat idea. And now this is sending information via Bluetooth to my phone. Pretty neat. All right, so we've got the uh, power shot all set up in your stick and it's sending really cool information about your shot to your phone. Uh, you're probably wondering what kind of information. So that's what I'm gonna get into right now. You actually get six different readings. Five of them are concrete pieces of information that you can't get from any other device. So radar guns will tell you the puck speed. Uh, this device is actually inside your stick though. So it's telling you stuff like the speed of your stick, uh, the duration of your shot, the angle of your, of your stick, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Uh, the one thing that it doesn't tell you um, absolutely is the speed of the puck, which is kind of funny because it's a device that's in your stick, right? So it's using all its other information and using that to estimate the speed of the puck. So in the next video, I'm actually gonna test to see how accurate it is uh, with the radar gun. I'll use them both together. So the pieces of information you get, uh, shot speed, 
Number one, that's actually your stick speed. So that's pretty cool because you can see how quick your stick is moving and then see if you can increase your um, head speed basically of the blade. So that's one thing that you can't get from a radar gun. So that's pretty neat, the speed of your stick. Uh, number two is the duration of the shot. So from when you start to when you end. So that's something like your release. Another thing that you can work on getting a quicker shot, quicker release. Uh, then we have the angle. So that's the angle of your backswing, if I understand this correctly. So you're seeing how high your backswing is and how that relates to how much power you're getting. So that's a pretty cool thing there. Uh, puck speed, which is an estimation based on all this other information. Uh, number five is acceleration. So rather than just puck or the, sh the stick speed, it's how quickly you're accelerating that stick before you hit the puck. Uh, so it's something else, it's concrete. You can work on improving that acceleration. So your explosiveness and your explosive power. And then number six is your rotation speed. So that's when you're rotating into the shot. So not only is your stick coming down, you're also rotating into that. That's something else. Maybe you really slow at that and you have to improve it. That's it for the intro and the setup instructions for the power shot. And don't forget to subscribe to my video because I am really excited to have this in my stick and I'm going to be testing it out over the next week or so. And I'll come back in a few weeks with a, another video with a full review on how this works, um, how well it actually reads the puck speed compared to a radar gun and all kinds of other cool information. Uh, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, HockeyReviewHQ.com, and my other channel, HowToHockey.com. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. I'll see you in the next one.